Welcome and welcome back everyone. If you are seeing me for the first time, my name is Swacha and I make DIY videos for some home decor elements which, which we usually find expensive on some high decor websites or probably the store. So I get inspired from that and try to make it on my own. So if you are in the same, please don't forget to watch my other videos and let's get jumping to today's video. Today's video is about abstract art. I made this video about a year ago and I was just going to channel Learn Analytics uh, today uh, and I've realized that it has reached, reached to 10,000 views. So I thank you very much for that and I will definitely try to come up with more things like that, more videos like that. And today's video is a little different from previous video is because I've used different technique which is so much smoother and uh, it's of course different design. So I hope you will definitely like it and let's get started. Hello, hello, why so wet, Vija? So, I've used this Alex Plus speckle which I have used in my previous projects before. And it's a speckle filler, and this is going to be our base for the project. So, I grabbed a good amount of it uh, in the container. And if you can see here, it's pretty thick. I mean, it's really hard to work around the designs if you like because um, hard to work around with the speckle base so we want to make it a little bit runny and like smooth paste out of it and we are not supposed to use water for this because water will not help when the textured art is dry so we have to add a little bit of glue and um, it's definitely my recipe so I was going to add the white acrylic paint so I added a less amount of glue and uh, added the acrylic paint but if you're going to if you are going to skip the paint part you can definitely add more glue um, no, no harm in that it's definitely your recipe and after that you have to give it a nice swirl a nice whisk about five to six minutes even if you feel like the, the paste is made or it's done just keep giving it keep giving it whisk because it will, it will keep making it better so once the paste is made it should look like this it needs to have a swirl in that like this that's when you know that the paste is perfectly made and after that let's use it so i had this few frames that i was going to recycle actually and i realized that maybe i can use it for some other projects so i grabbed three frames like three white frames and uh covered them in a masking tape i think i've uh, i've done with all of my things that i covered them in a masking tape first of all and then i had this notch scraper mine is a, mine was with the v notch but you can definitely use a different kind of scraper that comes in the design it definitely creates a different design it, it's amazing it's amazing every time after that i started to spread the texture piece that i made now you have to be very generous when you when you spread the piece because when you scrape the piece it will it will show the bottom so you have to really really make sure that you want to make it look rich and like very well done good finish so be generous when you use the texture paste and the good part about this is you can have to start over i made a mistake i covered that part again and i i could start over it's the best part and so with the second design i actually use that a lot i just had to um work around the design that i wanted but i was not able to make it actually and then this is the best part five to six times i started over you'll be able to see here how much time i'm involving in here but again it's definitely your design and you know uh you can keep making it until you like it Now, just in case if you make a mistake and the, the masking tape comes off or something like that and if the speckle goes in there, just remove the masking tape, wipe off the bottom part, put it again, put the new masking tape again and you can definitely start over. You can start over. So yes, I had to face that one as well. And after that, I was able to make the sunset and a sea design like a sunset as a shore design if you can see here. And yes, I was done with the second design at this point.
the third one is my favorite so i ran out of the texture paste so i had to make again if you can see you get a chance to see here how smooth is that it's so satisfying when you do it it's it's kind of like a therapy for me with the bigger project you actually have to make sure that you have spread the paste equally now with the help of scale i made an arc for it but again when you work with the bigger projects there might be a chance that you have to give a, give a little bit of perfection to your designs so this is a point where the knife is important but if you don't have it it's completely fine you can use anything to take it up and with the scale again i used the second arc and completed my third design as well so i hope you've enjoyed it let me show you how it looks like If you have missed part of the video, I thank you very, very much. And if you have enjoyed, please don't forget to watch my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe on them because that's going to help me to create my YouTube community. So once again, thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.